So when you think about earbuds with the word pro in the name, you're probably not thinking about these just yet, but you should. So these, these are the Pixel Buds Pro. They are the latest and most expensive in the Pixel line and they live alongside the A-Series. And they're more expensive because, well, they're better. But how much better and is that extra money worth it? I'm Phil Nickinson. Let's put these Pixel Buds Pro in the old ear holes and see how they sound and see how they stand up against everything else that's out there. But first, sure, go like and subscribe and all that stuff. You know what you're doing. You've watched videos before, right? All right. Let's go do it. All right, one more thing first, go read our full written review. If you haven't already, Simon Cohen did a magnificent job with uh, just all those deep details on all the audiophile stuff you'll ever want. Me, I'm a little less highfalutin. So what makes a set of earbuds pro? Well, we can pretty much oversimplify that by leaning into one thing here, okay? Pro tends to mean active noise cancellation or ANC. Now that's where the earbuds use the microphones to listen to what's going on around you and then cancel out all the background noise so you just hear the music or podcast or whatever it is you're doing with your headphones. And that's something Google hasn't had in the Pixel Buds line until now. So it's a big deal for Google and it's also a big reason why these things cost $200. Now to put it in perspective, that's twice as much as what you would pay right now for the Pixel Buds A series, but it is $50 less than what the AirPods Pro retail for from Apple. So that begs the question, are you getting 20% less from what you'd get for buying AirPods Pro? We'll get into that in a second. So here's what we get on Google side of the ledger for that extra money. First, they're available in four colors. There's dark gray, off-white, the sort of reddish orange flavor that I have here on loan from Google. And there's a sort of weird like Gatorade neon nuclear yellow. Now, you get better microphones and battery life than you get from the Pixel Buds A series for sure. You also get wireless charging for the case, which is great, I love that. And you get something called multi-point connectivity, which is a big deal. It makes it super easy to switch from one device to another. And if you're really all in the Android ecosystem and nowhere else, Google has baked in its own sort of sharing AI stuff, don't even worry about what it's called, to try to anticipate what you're doing from one device to the next and make switching even easier. The bottom line is it works great, all right? Even if you're switching between an Android device and an iOS device, uh, at worst, it's just a couple taps to get things up and running again. Pretty much works the way it should. Now let's talk about ANC, the active noise cancellation. That's really the big deal here on the Pixel Buds Pro. Now on paper, Google says you'll get about 11 hours of playback without ANC and about seven if you turn it on. Now, I don't know about you, it's rare that I've got these things stuck in my head for that long at a clip. Pop them back into the case and it says you'll get 31 total hours without ANC and 20 if you leave it turned on. Now that, by the way, is more battery life than you will get with the AirPods Pro, full stop on paper. Speaking of specs on paper, one that is missing for now is something called spatial audio. If you've ever used it on AirPods Pro or the AirPods Max, it's that sort of fancy three-dimensional spatial audio that makes it sound like the music is coming from all directions. Uh, they use Dolby to help do that, and it's pretty cool. I can take it or leave it. If you love it, great. If you hate it, fine, don't use it. It is coming to the Pixel Buds Pro. It's not here yet, so we can't test it out yet. I got nothing to say. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, when Google updates the things. Now, specs are specs, right? What are these things actually like to use? So unbox the Pixel Buds Pro and you'll find the little earbuds and some extra tip sizes in a little tube. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that package like that before. Uh, there's also some paperwork that maybe you read, maybe you won't. There are some tips in there on all the little uh, taps and presses that you can do, right? Self-explanatory if you've uh, ever used earbuds before, but you can play pause, forward, you know, swipe up and down to raise and lower the volume. Cool. Now the case itself is nearly identical to the previous Pixel Buds cases. It might be a millimeter off here and there. I didn't measure, I don't care, but it looks exactly the same. Now the case charges wirelessly, which is how I prefer to do it, or you can use USB-C if that's how you'd rather go. Just note that there's no USB-C cable in the box here, right? They're assuming you already have one, and if you're watching this, there's a pretty good chance you do. So the buds themselves are shaped a little different too. Most noticeably, they're missing that little wing tip that helps fit things in your ear. Uh, I was a little skeptical of that at first, but turns out they fit pretty well. Uh, it is a looser feel, and it almost seems like it lets in a little more ambient sound, and on top of that, the active noise cancellation maybe isn't quite as good or tuned the same uh, as AirPods Pro, but I'm actually okay with that. 
AirPods Pro tend to give me that sort of feeling like I'm in a vacuum or an anechoic chamber, if you've ever been in one of those, uh, you know, as most of us have. Uh, you know, it just feels like it puts a little negative pressure on your head or in your sinuses or something. These were a lot more comfortable. Uh, all in all, I think I prefer it. And even though the ANC isn't quite as good, uh, I was getting more high frequencies in, especially in the gym. Uh, it still worked great for things like I live next to an airport, to totally block the sound of a 737 taking off. Uh, my yard guy was here cutting the lawn and I could hear the, you know, dun, 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 dun of the blades, but the overall noise of a commercial grade lawnmower was totally gone, which was cool. Same goes for, uh, for the recycling truck when it went by. I happened to have them in, walked outside, didn't hear a thing, pretty neat. So voice calls are fine. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of wind noise if it's windy or you're running or something, but all in all, they sound like they're earbuds and you sound like you're talking over earbuds. So nothing magical there, it's pretty normal. The big question, uh, music, how does that sound? Pretty good actually, uh, almost as good, if not as good, I think, as the AirPods Pro. Uh, the sound gets maybe a little muddied at higher volumes. Uh, that could also just be my ears and like 10 too many punk rock and metal shows growing up. My ears are a little shot. Uh, but at like normal volume levels and not blasting in my ears, it sounded great. And by the way, this is all true whether you're using them on an iPhone or as God and Google intended on Android. Uh, look, on the iPhone, they work like Bluetooth earbuds work, right? Uh, you just connect them and you get audio. So yeah, you get more options when you're using Android because there is the Pixel Buds app. Uh, you get more settings, you get the low volume EQ that tweaks things just a little bit. I had to listen real hard to notice anything, not a big deal at all. Uh, you get the cool Android-y AI audio sharing stuff, which again, neat when it works. And you can tweak, you know, what the taps and the, the long presses and all that stuff do. Really the biggest deal about using an Android phone with all this stuff is being able to update the firmware, I think. If you don't have an Android device, go borrow friends somehow and use that to update your firmware. Otherwise, you're stuck on what they send you. So what's the bottom line on the Pixel Buds Pro? Well, they are damn good earbuds, full stop. Maybe not quite as good as the AirPods Pro. I'm splitting hairs at this point though. I really enjoy both. I really enjoy the sound out of both. I enjoy the fact that the Pixel Buds Pro are $50 less than the AirPods Pro. And if you're an Android person, and if you know me, I've been an Android person from time to time, they're almost a no-brainer, especially at that $200 price, and especially when you consider they're probably gonna go on sale at some point. So, they look good, they feel good, and most important, they sound really good. The ANC is real close to excellent. The extra Android-y stuff is great. And the price is pretty competitive for what you're getting. Now, just hang on, because remember, there's still more coming with spatial audio at some point when Google decides to update things. All in all, Pixel Buds Pro, excellent, excellent option from Google. So that's it, don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, go like all the things, hit the notification bell so you hit every Digital Trends video as soon as it comes out. That's it, see you next time.